Hey folks, come on here again, and um, where am I? In my local tavern. Yes, supping whiskey, but not only whiskey. Bottle of board as well, hey! You know, it's kind of crazy. Mm. Now, I'm reporting to you right now, live on a um, busy night. This is the 30th of October, Mischief Night. As it's known fucking worldwide as Mischief Night. Round here, known as Mizzy Night, the fucking scallies. So, what I'm saying is like, you know, this robs Halloween of its grandeur. It's, you know, Halloween is the night of murder, mutilation, craziness, you know, madness and mayhem. But what do the Scallies do? They go the night before. And they go on like brick cars and set fire to things and like just cause general bedlam, you know, around the town. Well, what motherfucking twats they are as well by doing this kind of shit. You know, and that. Kilban, he hates them. He does, he hates them. It just roms the whole the value of this, the end of October, the whole Halloween festivities, you know, and I know that Mizzy Night is a, it's been brought in from, you know, America, the land of decadence, the land of, you know, just, who cares, corporate mayhem, you know, we can exploit and, you know, make merchandise out of everything so Halloween I mean, I mean I'll got to be honest Halloween is the best the basis of you know, what I love most of all and of course America bestowed Halloween to the rest of the world trick or treat it certainly wasn't a UK thing it certainly wasn't European it's an American thing so you know it then gets to this fucking ridiculous thing of Mizzy Night where Right now, I'm sitting here and a brick could come fucking sailing through the window right behind me. And, you know, I hate it. Kettleman hates antisocial fucking behaviour. Unless, of course, it's him being antisocial and, uh, and misbehaving. Because, my God, I can do that. But yeah, I do detest this, this new sort of stupid uh, thing that's crept in. So yeah, this is a uh, on location in the Telegraph, and uh, I'm looking at, looking at myself uh, reflected in this filming. I am a fat-faced motherfucker with jowls, and uh, you know, and I, I look way fatter on this than I do in reality. It's kind of pissing me off now. Uh, because I'm not this fucking jowly cunt in real life. I am a spelt like, you know, square jawed, heroic type. So, shit. Shit on you, bloody camera, making me look like some kind of fat, fucking hillbilly bumpkin, cider swilling fucking knob shine. You know, I ain't like that in real life at all. And uh, incidentally, I am um, I am kilt wearing today. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Kilted. Kilted to fucking beyond. Uh, I am wearing the the Bruce, the Robert the Bruce kilt. Yes, it's uh, a, a a big favourite of mine. I wear it a lot. As you will have seen it before on other videos because you know, I do like this one. Um, and yeah, the, you may have noticed there's a whiskey and a beer uh, kind of conglomeration of alcohol. Yeah. But yeah, this is just to stamp my claim that Halloween should be kept and preserved as it meant a lot to people of times long gone. Uh, 
the end of the summer, the start of the long, dark, cold nights, and you couldn't grow crops. Uh, they were afraid the spirit of the dead would wake and walk. For God's sake, this meant something to people. And it, it's been shanghaied and hijacked. And, and I'm probably guilty of this myself because I, I love the, the whole commercialization of Halloween. I love the trickery, the masks, the movies, the whole, you know. I, I, I love the pageantry of what Halloween should be. But I detest what has happened for the night before. Where the hell this mischief night came from? Uh, I hate scallies. I hate gangs on the streets. Uh, I'm a happy go lucky guy. Very, very volatile and proactive sort of guy as well. So, oops, you know. Um, don't fuck with me because I will fuck back and fuck back hard as well. So, uh, you know, just don't ruin things. You know. Kids go out these nights now and they, and they, they you know, they're loving. You know, they're in the costumes and everyone's having little parties and duck apples and stuff like that. Why, why meddle with that? Why just destroy, you know, a great, you know, festivity? Hey, it's my two penna. Well, uh, you know, there we go. That's what I can say. I've got to go back home in a minute to cook tea. Shit. I've had a few drinks. What the hell am I going to cook? Uh, eyeball stew, severed limb stroganoff, uh, a brain goulash. I'll, I'll be staring lots of mutilated mayhem into the broth. So, you know, in the meantime, in the meantime, and in between time, and the twilight time, you guys. Stay safe out there. Be careful. Don't fuck around. Because maybe the kilt man will find you. So, be safe out there. And in the meantime, I'll see you soon. Later!